Okay, before we get started uh, just jumping into stuff, we're going to do some more uh, log rules. Um, this time I'm going to go with natural logarithms, and we, we went from the, um, the last video of what the natural log is. Um, first, first one, um, these are just little identities. Much simpler to work with X, X's than this junk. Sometimes it's the other way around. And w where this comes from, natural, let's look at the first one. Natural log of E to the X, and that being equal to X. Well, remember what this means right here. Okay, th this, this basically means E to the what equals E to the X. Okay, well, you can probably convince yourself that that what is x okay so that one that one's pretty um pr that one's pretty easy to kind of get around this next one is a little different this is the e to the natural log of x if you look at it 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 essentially it, it kind of looks like you can think about it really quickly as it just kind of cancels out and then you're left with x you know as a base um, your math teacher's probably going to want you to really understand why this is, and, I, and usually you don't have to prove it until you get into higher level math classes, but um, in your algebra class you'll probably at least want to algebraically be able to uh, state why um, this is, tr is true. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to kind of run through this right here. And the reason this is, this is the way it is, is because, take a look at this section right here, this natural log uh, of x. Re remember, all that is, that's e to the what equals x, okay? Well, let's just call that what, we'll just call it y, okay? So let's just rewrite this e to the y equals x, because we don't know what it is. It's e to the something, you know, e to the something equals x, so we'll just, we'll just call it e to the y equals x, okay? So we got that right there, and so let's, uh, let's kind of, let's uh, solve for this y here. So let's take the natural log of both sides, Okay, that's why I just took the natural log of both sides. And it looks like right here, this is e to the what is going to give me e to the y. Well, that's just y equals natural log of x. Okay, and recall that back here, we had e to the y being equal to x, because that's what that meant up there. That just meant we didn't know what it meant. And it... It shows us that y is actually equal to natural log of x. This isn't formal by any means, but I hope this at least gives you um, kind of a notion of where some of this stuff comes from, okay? And that's pretty much um, all I got on there. And um, I will, in the next video, we're going to... Um, start to, we're going to actually use some of this stuff and we're going to actually start working out logarithm problems. So I'll see you in the next one.